So here's your standard um, trailer scenario needs to back into a warehouse, uh, pull into a parking bay. So on this one, you can use the auto drive bearing option. You can also start with the auto drive arc and switch to bearing at any time. So you don't have to pick one or the other. Um, so I can even start on arc. And again, the properties will come up, verify scale. You know, being that it does interact with Civil 3D, I can pick surfaces and layers and things like that. I'll just go ahead and accept OK for right now. I'll place my vehicle, pick my orientation, and uh, let's go ahead and pick another vehicle. So I'm gonna, I'll grab the uh, this interstate semi. That looks good. I'll choose proceed. And I'll pick my first point here. And now I need to attempt to make this turn. Now again, you can see with the auto drive arc, this is very much not gonna happen. So I could at any point say turn on a bearing. And I can pick a bearing. I can say turn on an angle. I wanna turn at 90 degrees. You'll see it locks me at a 90 degree angle. I can pick various other angles and continue to make adjustments. I also have the ability to pick an alignment. So if I want to choose an object, I don't want to figure out what the angle is or calculate it. I can simply say pick an alignment and I say I want to pick that line. You can see now it locks me in to that line position. And so now its ultimate turn is going to be at the, the bearing of that roadway. So I'll come down and uh, pick a point. And uh, from here I can continue to make changes. I can even turn off the bearings at this point. Uh, maybe I'm going to pull in over here. I might even go in reverse now, try and back into one of these bays. Again, it's going to be hard to hit one of those exact angles. So I might use an alignment again and say, hey, give me one of these lines. That's the bearing I want. And now I can choose which bay. It won't let me go any farther than what the driving angle will accommodate. So I can pick any one of those bays that I would like to uh, utilize. Place my vehicle, again, right click when I'm done. And now my vehicle path has been displayed. And if I want to uh, view that, I can select that. I can choose animate and just run a quick play on that. I'll speed it up a little bit. And this will allow me to quickly look at the path that's been displayed how this vehicle will handle it and uh, decide whether this is going to be the best design scenario. You'll see it will back up, position itself right into the parking bay. 